Hey everyone, there are serious concerns about the recent change to the winter fuel allowance that Parliament pushed through this week and how they will affect the elderly. There's a real fear that some people might avoid heating their homes because they won't be able to afford the bills, potentially leading to more elderly, el to more elderly individuals being hospitalised during an already strained winter season for the NHS. This is a genuine concern that deserves attention, but rather than, the, rather than addressing this critical issue, Certain media outlets like Talk TV and GB News have turned the conversation into debate about pensioners versus migrants or immigrants, as they often do. Let's hear from Diana on the subject of pensioners. But let's get a voice note from Diana on pensioners. Morning, Mike. If pensioners get ill and end up in hospital and can't be released because their houses are cold because their heat and allowance was withdrawn, can they be put up in hotels? Yeah, well, everybody else seems to be getting it put up in hotels. We've got prisoners being put up in hotels now. Uh, we've got criminals being put up in hotels. We've got migrants being put up in hotels. I mean, what on earth is going on? Is anybody actually staying in a hotel who's paying for it themselves? I mean, I feel like I should go to one of these hotels and say, look, I'm paying for all these other people to be here. Can I be here as well? Can you give me a free room? Because I've already paid out of my taxes, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds to house all these bozos who shouldn't even be here, for heaven's sake. Diana expressed frustration, saying if pensioners end up in hospital and can't be discharged because their homes are too cold due to the withdrawal of their heating allowance, they'll need to be put up in hotels. She points out that others, such as prisoners, criminals and migrants, are already being housed in hotels and asks if anyone is still paying to stay in hotels themselves. This type of rhetoric completely misses the point. When asylum seekers are housed in these form hotels, they are no longer functioning as, as, as hotels in the typical sense. These buildings don't offer the usual hotel services like room service, gyms or restaurants. Most importantly, the individuals staying there are not free to come and go as they please. So the idea that they're enjoying hotel perks is completely false. More importantly, the discussion should focus on the very real issue of what happens if pensioners don't turn on their heating out of fear of unaffordable bills. If they get sick and need hospital care, it puts extra strain on the NHS, which is already, as we know, under immense pressure. There is a, This is a serious, urgent issue that should be the priority of our conversation, not hypothetical debates about housing pensioners in hotels. Limiting the winter fuel allowance for some elderly people only exacerbates, exacerbates the problem. If they avoid heating their homes, there's a real risk that they could end up in hospital due to conditions like hypothermia. This in turn could lead to more pressure on the NHS, longer waiting lists and a lack of available hospital beds. Rather than getting distracted by immigration debates, we need to be addressing the core issue of how to prevent vulnerable people, vulnerable elderly people, from suffering this winter. It's frustrating to see media outlets like GB News and Talk TV derailing meaningful conversations by stoking anger over immigration when we should be focusing on finding real solutions to the problems facing our elderly and our public services. No thanks to Keir Starmer. But anyway, I've been Jake from Just Jake. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been Jake from Just Jake. And remember, make love, not war. Because we do not treat our veterans very well. We let them freeze to death in their own homes. <laughs>